Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, wherever you are, welcome back to another one nil video. And we are joined here on a very special day because I've got a special little video coming for you, which is called Relegation Threatened Players That Your Club Should Sign. So I know you might have seen on other channels, because it's off Lawrence Walcott, you know, shout out to him. But I've gone for the big, the top six, the, the big six clubs. Yes, yeah, not the top six because Arsenal's in there, we get it. Um, picked out some of the relegation thread players. We've got the bottom three, so obviously Sheffield, Fulham, West Brom, and there's also a bit of Newcastle in there because at this point, there's a chance Newcastle do still get relegated. Don't think they will. I think the final three is pretty much set, but we'll move on. Get straight into it. We've got Liverpool. I've got Liverpool, I think the club, the player that they should sign, St. Maximin. Even though they've got Salah and Mane on the right, left wing, even though they've got Yota who can come in, if this season showed anything, its depth is huge for them. And they've also got the luxury of being able to move around that front three and play them anywhere they want. So you could put St. Maximin in that striker position. If Salah does need a rest, you can put St. Maximin on that right wing. You can put Yota in that middle position, have Yota, Mane, St. Maximin. You know, it's this thing of keeping players fresh as well as giving them that bit of competition with someone else who can come in and take over their spot. I think St. Maximin is a baller. I think he's a good player. I think he should look for a move away from Newcastle because he's at the point where he's probably too good for them. And I think Liverpool could be good for him. I see him fitting in with that whole vibe of the squad also. Next up, we'll go Man City. And look, our Man City got to really be looking at players from relegation clubs. Probably not. But for the sake of the video, I've put Ben Mee. Not me, Ben Mee. Um, solid centre-back from Burnley. Burnley obviously known for not conceding many goals. Even though they've got Stones and Diaz, I think Nathan Arke, which has gone out the radar, um, has you know not really been what they've wanted, whether it be injuries or just other things. I think bringing in a backup centre-back like Ben Mee. Does Ben Mee really want to be a third-choice centre-back? I'm not sure. But he he's probably good enough to come in and play... Here, like you know, filling against even a Arsenal, a Tottenham, and and do a good job. And I think I think Ben Mee will be a good signing for City. However, I don't think Burnley will give him up for cheap, especially if it is City who come in wanting him. I don't think they'll give him up for cheap, which is fair enough because he's huge to Burnley's success that they've had. <laughs> you know. Uh, next up, we've got Chelsea, and for Chelsea, I've gone for the former Man United goalkeeper, even though they did just sign Mendy, and they've also got Kepa. I've gone. For Sam Johnstone, the West Brom goalkeeper, who's been very, very solid. There are rumours that Man United are looking to kind of bring him back if De Gea does leave. So maybe as another backup keeper there. But I think Chelsea, I don't think they're afraid. We saw with Kepa, even though he was the most expensive centre-back, I don't think they're afraid to sign a new keeper. Um, I don't think Mendy has been that great. I don't think it's been as good as what, you know, Chelsea fans maybe expected him to be. Um Mendy is also, look, this thing's at 28 or something, so he's not young. John Stone isn't either, but I think as a backup keeper who could also threaten to take the number one role, I think Sam John Stone in net for Chelsea could be a solid little shout. Now, we'll go, we'll go to Leicester, and there, this is another club where it's, it's, it's hard to find a position for Leicester to sign another player in. Not because, obviously, they're like they're they're unbelievable squad, but you feel like they're just the players have to fit in that position, if you know what I mean. So I've gone for Lookman. I think Lookman from Fulham is a good player. I think he might also, he, yeah, he's come from Leipzig, which I think could be on loan, but they could just try and get, try and pull a few strings with that. But I think he could be a decent shout for Leicester in that front, attacking four, attacking three. Um, can play really anywhere besides striker and give Jamie Vardy another one of those options to come off and receive the ball, if you know what I mean. Next up, we've got Arsenal. And now Arsenal... They could be signing a player who's getting promoted, which I've got a video coming out later in that one player your club should sign. But Arsenal, I think, should look at West Brom and that same, if they don't keep Odegaard, that same attacking midfield position, that same threatening position. And this player can also play on the wing. I want for Mateus Pereira from West Brom. Started the season very well. Pereira was very good, already was getting, I think, well, of course, was linked to Manchester United for a bit, whatever. But I think Pereira was could be a good chef for Arsenal. A bit of Brazilian flair in there. It's been a while since we've seen a Brazilian turn it up in the Premier League. I think Mateus Pereira at Arsenal would do an absolute solid. 
Now, last but not least, we've got Manchester United. Fixing that centre-back position, I said Ben Mee for Manchester City. I'm going to go for Tarkovsky from Burnley for Manchester United. Tarkovsky and Maguire, yes, it's a slow partnership, but I think Tarkovsky is probably arguably better than Lindelof. I think he also brings in that bit of leadership. Um, decent with the ball at his feet. I think Tarkovsky, as a desperate shout, if United does sign a Varane or a different centre-back, could be well worth Man United's time and money to put in a bit of effort and bring Tarkovsky over to Man United. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's got to wrap us for, up for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. It's the 5th of May. I want to see if we can get to 400 subs. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, by the end of June. So you've got almost two months. I think it's on like 35 more subs. Please help it out. Share. Do all that business. Do all that good stuff. We've got to tune out a couple of videos. We've got a new setup with the victory kit. We've got the lights when it's dark. You can see a bit of the lights too. It's all good fun and games. Thank you for watching. I'm Costa. This is one nil. Deuces.